Okay, good. Now, well, welcome to the Evolution Working Group meeting on May 31st. And I'm Sean. Uh, the link I posted to the chat. And I will share my copy of the minutes, make it a little bit more readable for people on smaller screens. Um, so the two things that um, I thought we had to go to today were the um, review of the metrics that need to be updated. Elizabeth, you s indicated in our chat a minute ago that you have um, made some changes like we discussed in the last meeting by closing some old issues and creating some new ones. So it looks like we've got four new issues for metric revision. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, You're welcome. Issues closed, issues active, issues new, code changes lines. And there will be more as soon as I get through the rest of the list at the bottom of those issues. Fair. So yeah, there'll be more, but these are the first four. Well, four is better than zero, I would say. So these are the <laughs> checklist True. items. Um, do we know? Okay. Those were the things that I okay. saw. These are the things that need to be worked on. Yeah. And um, with, I think with a lot of these evolution metrics, just because they're referenced so often and are like such building blocks for other metrics, metrics mm -hmm. models, that I think that, you know, even though the changes might end up being minor, I think it would be worth our while to just look at them and make sure that they're tight, you know? Yeah. So one way we could approach working on these is for individuals to assign themselves or volunteer to um, uh, work on the metrics. Um, so so I'll, just, uh, I'll just put this in the chat. And Go ahead, uh, Bernard. Yeah, I was asking, like, uh, you have highlighted the areas that needs to be worked within a particular metric, right? It looks that way, yes. Yeah, the specific details requiring okay. attention okay. Okay. are listed here. I, I will also say with this group, especially with the three issues, a lot of the, the things that I saw that could be fixed were uh, occurred in all three of those. Okay. So it might make sense for maybe one or two people to take those three together. Um, they were very similar. Kind are of, the issues ones I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. And maybe even there's one more issues uh, time, I think issues open or something that I didn't get to yet. Um, that one may be the same as well, which is at the bottom of the issues list. Okay. Anybody you want to volunteer on those three? Yeah, I can take them. Well, I guess. So do we have any specific deadline or I can do at my own convenience? You could do it at your own convenience, I would say. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I think this year is our deadline. Okay, so that, that is plenty of time. I like, I do slowly, slowly, but I do it regularly, so. All right, and if I'll just assign myself to this one and then anybody else that wants to go in and do it is welcome to do it as well. Oh, I thought I assigned myself. Apparently not. No, it shows me assigned. There also yeah. may be um, some philosophical questions to be asked um, and right. answered such that like those metrics had the specific instructions of how to get that data out of Grimoire Lab. So we can we have two choices. We can either keep, continue to leave them in and just verify that they work, or we can take those out because I don't think they're in a lot of other metrics to that level of detail. So that might be a, a question that the group wants to answer as a whole. Um, just philosophically where we stand on how much detail to provide in the metric itself. So, uh, so it is like extracting the data, uh, raw data from Grimoire Lab? It's actually saying? technical instructions, I think, is what she yeah, said. Yeah, like how to, like if you click on it, um, you'll see it. Like if you go to either the website or the file, yeah, either yeah. one. 
you'll see what I mean. And that occurred in, I think all of those where it goes like. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Like how but to this, actually get it. I, I, I don't think we need it. Uh, right now we don't extract like uh, data like this. We just provide a implementation. Do we need this? Like earlier we used to have SQL queries in the metrics now. But we don't do it anymore. Well, I am of two minds about that. One is if somebody took the trouble to provide this information, <laughs> I, I don't. I mean, I think that's helpful. Um, but then on the that other hand, is, it's inconsistent with yep, the other metrics. Yes, that is the only issue with that. We also don't mention Augur at all. <laughs> so it's just like I mean, that's the people. that's the part that we could we could I could correct that. Um so maybe how about we like you know uh, in a Cadbig we have appendices like okay NX shares or appendices. If you are more keen into it, you can look into these in, in the appendices, but not in I don't know. Perhaps um Because see, if anyone is who is interested in the data is going for the Grimoire lab or for the other, and they have to go through that pain of getting that uh, set it up. And I, then I feel the person is uh, enough competent to extract these information out of it. Say that again, Vinod. So I'm saying like, if anyone who is interested in collecting the data for that particular metrics will definitely go to either Augur or Grimoire Lab, install it on their machine, and then look around it. So if they have gone through that much process, I think they are capable enough to extract this data out of that. That is my assumption. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I might. I mean, one, one thing I like, I mean, I, I am definitely of two minds because yes. uh, the, my first mind is this is useful this is helpful and yes. a lot of people are coming to chaos to actually know how to implement specific metrics now yep. and that's part of where the metrics models group comes from yep i see a typo in this at the top line but um and then the other mind is that this isn't systematically provided by the other working groups and so does this content need to be moved to some other place and then referenced in the in the work in this metric definition and the first other place that came to my mind was if we created a read the docs dot io for the working group that included the metrics themselves and their definitions as well as these implementation details so then the question would be, where would the adjacent doc be stored? So then are we extracting and providing a sample JSON? I don't think that is a goal of the metrics. It's not, it's not, it's just helpful in the context. I mean, the reason I'm like on the fence here is because it is helpful in the context of what people are coming to chaos for now. Yeah. The other thing I don't know is, you know, this was probably developed four years ago. So one thing yep. I don't, know is if Kibiter is still exactly how this is done. Um, I'm not certain that it is. Um, yeah, that was kind of my feeling too. It's like we have to go back and, and verify that all this still works. But yeah. also knowing that we probably won't look at it again for another two, four years, whatever, three, four. So do we want to keep this in here knowing that it's not going to get eyes on it for a long time again? Yeah. So I kind of like your idea, Sean, of like pulling that out and putting it somewhere else in the community handbook of like, I don't know, implementation, something, I don't know, I don't know, but I kind of like, I'm with you, like, I don't want to really want to lose this because it's very yes. clear and very easy to follow, but mm -hmm. also like, it's, you know, kind of buried here in this metric it and yeah. we won't look at it again for a long time. <laughs> yeah. I would propose we keep the metric uh, simple and then maybe point to extra information if they want. 
That sounds I don't, good. I, I don't know even that the structure that we have in place here, has the Grimoire changed it or is it still workable? I'm not sure. That's the it's, that's certainly the part that um, I have questions about. Because I don't know the answer to that question, Bernard. Yep. And I suspect the answer is that Grimoire Labs actually using SIG ILS instead of Kibiter yep. now. So, I, I mean. Yeah. I played with Grimoire Lab like six months back and I haven't played because I don't need any data recently. So, whenever I need data, I either go to Augur or Grimoire Lab and extract yeah. my data for the research. Then I'm. Then I'm gone. Yeah. Hey, Elizabeth, when is Google Summer of Code start? I should know this. Is it this week? Uh, June week? 13th, I believe. June 13th. Okay, so two weeks. Uh, let me just check my calendar really quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, June 13th is the first day. So we're still in the bonding period. Okay. Is this a question we want to bring up at the community meeting? Maybe. Or do you think? Yeah, because in a lot of metrics, we have even SQL queries, we have something along those lines. Do we need to keep them or do we need to just trash them or do we need to keep them somewhere and link it in the metric? There was another, um, actually two other questions with these metrics too that I've noticed the trend was, um, there also was a section of that said parameters. And it seemed like in that metric, the parameters and the filters, like I was getting confused as to what the difference was. Cause I think we just call them all filters now. Yep. I think, yeah, parameters yep. and filters have long been a source of confusion in the yeah. metrics definition process. So uh, I think- Add aggregators <laughs> to that list as well. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi. Yeah, my my internet connection is a little sporadic today. I've got I've got an electrician here doing some work. So uh, oh, if I if I disappear, good. it's not because of, hmm. of anything you all did. He was like, "I'm out of here. Forget <laughs> you guys." Yeah, I um I had a power outage like half an hour before this meeting, and but everything I have is on UPS. So when the power came back, I was right there. Oh. But that's you know. Own this house for six years. I've got everything configured now. So the metrics, so aggregators, um, filters, parameters, and parameters. Yeah. Parameters. So ag aggregators and parameters are no longer part of the metrics template. Those have been yep. removed. Uh, okay, that's why I was so confused. I'm like, what? <laughs> what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> so filters, filters are part of the the metrics template. Uh, I believe that it's a subheading underneath uh, implementation. And what about SQL queries, which were part of the metric that we? Uh, I would I would say that they're probably inappropriate, uh, but you know at the same time, some of the qualitative, a lot of the qualitative metrics have like survey questions in them, and I, I don't. I don't know that there's much difference between an SQL query yep. in this case and a and a just and sample method, survey question. Methodology for data yeah. obtaining. So. And then, um, sorry to keep just context switching on you all, but the third trend that I noticed in these metrics is that there's a block of synonyms that's it's in the wrong spot. You'll see it's under data collection strategies. We just list a bunch of synonyms, um, especially with regard to the um, metrics around issues, like what is an issue. Um, so I know that we moved that up to the description, but it makes me wonder, like it's, it's repeated in the issues new, issues closed, issues active, anything issues related. So do we just want to link it, you know, I don't, I don't know, or copy that whole thing. I don't know. Um, let me look at. So if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see like these things. So like. Oh, <laughs> this is, um, but this is actually <laughs> syntactically critical for spanning different um, issue trackers. 
Yeah, I think we have kept this even in the recent, like, okay, as a reference, how these are being referred on the different platforms. Because what closed means is not exactly the same thing on the different platforms. So, yep. um, so do we want to leave them right here where they are? It was confusing to me why they were there, but I, that makes sense when you say that. I it's, think, yeah, I think uh, they actually do belong there. Maybe a little context would be helpful, though. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I think it was in the references or somewhere we mentioned, and I have to look at the current template. They need to be moved in the current te template. Uh, yeah, I, I I think the way those the way those those synonyms are in that document currently is is appropriate, and and I agree with Sean. Maybe we do need a little more context to it. Uh, And because we repeat these and all of those metrics around issues, I didn't know if maybe we wanted to just put them somewhere in the community handbook and then just link to that section. Gen generally, I don't, or leave them specifically in each of these metrics, the same information. What's the name of the, what, what, what metric are we looking at specifically? Issues closed. I was looking at uh, uh, over here. I was under uh, issues but, closed. Yeah, yeah so. actually, maybe it's fine because it does specifically say closed issues, where the other one are like open issues mean this. So maybe it's fine here. Yeah, I mean, it could also be incorporated into a handbook general definition kind of thing. It just depends on how granular and detailed we want that to be. Uh -huh. So I mean, there should probably be a section um, that's separate from terminology and really specific to technical metrics related technical definitions or something. Yeah, I will say that any, I think any glossary work that we do, uh, the goal of that glossary work is probably not to describe the different terms that are that are used in in different platforms. It's probably our glossary work would probably be to define the terms that we use. Well, in this, uh, ca in this case, it's critical to define the terminology in the context of the platform in order for a person building the metric to know exactly what they're looking for on that platform. Yep, I, I agree. And I think that and I think we handle that in the metric rather, okay. rather than mm -hmm. a, the, rather okay. than another document is what I'm saying. Okay. Yep. So it's, I think it's appropriate that we're handling it in this metric. Maybe we just need a little more text uh, so that uh, the, so that it's, it's, it's clear why that's there. So if there were, if there were, if, if there was any confusion at all about why it's there, we should, we should try to clear that up. So uh, for the revision, uh, uh, as it is assigned to me, I need to create a Google Doc, move that metric over there, clean it up, all these things, and then bring it back here to the meeting so that we all can review. That is a plan, right? No? I think no. yes. Oh. Uh, so the, these revisions are being done directly in Markdown. We're not, we're not creating a, a Google Docs for them. So if there is a, like a huge change uh, in the structure, if you are removing SQL queries or doing some restructuring of the metric as per new template, mm -hmm. that needs to be done directly in the markdown and a pull request is created or we, that, that is why I was thinking, thinking like we do all the changes in the doc, show it to everyone. If everyone in the group agrees, then we can create a pull request and a change the markdown. So that gets back to the first philosophical question, right, Bernard? You know, yes. Should the metric software instructions be in the metric or elsewhere? And I, I do think there's um, there's you there is utility in having the metrics explain and maybe not the metrics, but maybe some kind of linked documentation explain how you get data for that metric from Grimoire Lab and or Augur. You know, I, I think that's value. That's a value add that I don't want to throw away. 
but in this particular case, we don't know actually if the instructions are valid. So we would have to try to either install it or just ask Grimoire Lab in this case if those instructions are still valid. And kind of like big picture vision wise, I think it would be useful if the metrics had, I'm trying to think, what am I trying to say here? It'd be useful if the metrics had Google Docs, some kind of documentation that showed you how to get the data. And it would seem that ultimately that documentation might be pretty comprehensive and applied to multiple metrics um so that you know i you know any metric where you can get it from trace data maybe we should be providing instructions on how to get it out of a platform at the very least maybe a pointer to uh to a tool or uh... yeah. uh, so i mean we have a We have an entire header section in the metric called implementation, right? Implementations, yeah. So it's uh, what would you expect to find in implementations? Uh, I, mean, I, might ex I might expect to find some, uh, some insight into how to get the data. I might expect to find some insight into how to analyze the data. Uh, I, I don't think we need to be comprehensive or definitive in any way. Uh, like these are the, the only ways to do it, but I think giving some samples or, or pointing to some tools uh, is completely within the realm of uh, that implementation section. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, that's kind of where I might expect to see it. Where, where does it exist today? Tools providing the metric. Do we call it tools providing the metric or do we call it implementations now? So tools providing the metric is a subheader inside uh -huh. implementation, right? Uh -huh. So tools providing the metric is not, it's not actually oh. a subheader that's part of the, uh, the template. It's, but you can, you can add optional subheaders inside the template, right? So we, mm. uh, we address. It's not, it's not part of the template? Uh, no, I don't, I don't believe so. I, mean, no. I think it should be. <laughs> it's not explicitly part of the template, but I think when we define when we define metrics, tools providing the metric is something that. Uh, I mean, I think it should be in the template. I'm not quite as sure a, why, it, why it was taken as a out common of subheader. Yeah. Well, let me, I mean, maybe it is. I'm, maybe I'm just. Uh, Where is the template? <laughs> uh, it's in the community repo. Okay. Uh, Uh, yeah, tools providing the metric. Oh, yeah, and it's optional. Okay, it's good. Yep, yep. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah, because I'm like, why would that not? <laughs> All right. So this metric is as per the current template standard. Yeah, I mean, it's probably, it, there may be, some, like, I think it, it has, close. it has aggregators and parameters, so those have to be either moved under filters. Um, hmm. and I think these are pretty good. These are pretty good definitions. Um, yeah, I was I was thinking that same thing. Uh, those aggregators we could turn into. Uh, I think we could call these filters. I mean, filter is a very vague term, but uh, so time... the the way we've been the way that most working groups use filters, yeah, is not as a so those aggregators are all kind of types of measurements, right? It's a count, it's a ratio, it's. Uh, whereas filters generally are more filters are actually metrics usually, right? So it's the it's this metric in relationship to another metric, and you can and you can use that metric to sort it or to understand an issue uh, based well, on the relationship between those two metrics. 
I don't really agree with that because like these four parameters that are up here, well, these are all extremely useful to anyone that's looking to man, you know, understand issues. Like if we've only got filters, I think they're valid as filters. When it when it comes to the aggregators, yeah, there's a new Boolean criteria for source code. So my, my comment was with relation to how how a lot of the working groups do it. I'm not specifically speaking to this document. Yeah, I'm just I mean, uh, I think I would say that we have some valuable direction here. Yeah, I'm wondering I'm wondering if it goes if it belongs in filters or if it belongs in the metric in a different way. Well, I think parameters parameters and filters I never really understood the distinction honestly and I, I think the things under parameters are pretty clearly valid as as filters yeah yeah under, uh, under looking at them now I think that I, I would agree with you the parameters probably could be just re kind of recontextualized as filters I think aggregators those are those might be able to honest, be moved into the definition I mean honestly do we really need to tell people to do counts and ratios I don't think so anymore <laughs> I think they do them pretty automatically and reactions this does fit the criteria you were explaining earlier where you would really need another yeah reactions is the that's the uh the emoji uh yeah metric, so, right? that, so that's almost like another metric which we haven't yet actually published but yeah it would be yeah. um so I, I, I stand, I kind of stand by that definition of what a filter is. It's usually a metric. Well, these uh, things, these parameters down here are not metrics, but they do belong as filters. Uh, <clears throat> default all issues related the criteria for if we. Because there, this is, you know, these are valid questions that came up in the course of building this metric initially. And I think that they are important. New. Finding whether reopened issues are considered as new issues. Right. And that's um, so that's there's actually a status on many platforms. Uh, an, an issue can go from, on GitHub specifically, an issue can go from open to closed to reopened. So it wouldn't have an open status, it would have a reopened status as well. Right. Open. And then it would be ultimately closed again. I still, I still think those could be, those could be re, recontextualized as metrics. I mean, we're talking about closed issues versus open issues. Uh, a closed issue is we, we have that's metrics. kind of that's kind of a metric. It's something you can count. Well, this is the closed right. issue metric, and these are definitions for. Um... So I would say, so if if this is the closed issue metric, and we're talking about the criteria for closed. I think that maybe belongs in the definition. Possibly. The criteria for source code and the issue of reopening, um, these are think, filter matters. I think they're confusing. Um, I, th I agree with the criteria for closed possibly belonging under the definition. But I just don't want to lose this information because it's incredibly useful to anyone trying to implement these metrics. No, no, I, I don't want to lose it either. I'm just, uh, I just want to make sure we have a clear definition of what a filter is. Uh, and that, that's part of, uh, that's part of what we're, uh, we're looking at with the. Uh, so in this, in this particular case, I can see where aggregators might be, might not need to be stated at all. And parameter, the parameters that are here, I think all four of them could drop under filters with some validity. Um, I think the criteria for closed, I don't know if that belongs in the definition or if it's like a very, very granular detail that confuses the definition. So that and is why- To Elizabeth's I, point, the, elect, the description is actually pretty light. <laughs> yeah. That is why I suggested that we move this to a Google Doc where we can brainstorm the way we are developing the metric or revising the metric and finalize it once it is finalized we can create a markdown and yeah i mean if you i think you can but i think you can just like uh yeah i i know I, raw here. I yeah i can move it to the google doc that is not a big deal 
but I was trying to confirm like uh, that is the procedure we have because I recall for a minor revision, some grammar or some typos, we don't need the Google Doc, but for major revisions, we need to discuss like here yeah, we, I see the arguments are going on for whether to keep it or not to keep it. Those discussions will be helpful in the Google Doc. Uh, yeah. I can I can see some validity to that. I think I would leave it to the person who takes on a particular issue about whether okay. they want to start with a pull request or a, a Google Doc. Okay. I mean, in this case, I mean, I think this discussion probably covers the other two issues yep. that are related to issues. So that's not confusing at all. <laughs> um, like once we make it like once we reach a consensus here, it probably can be applied across the remainder of the other issue related metric issues. Um, so we might need to only work this through on a Google Doc and for one of the metrics. And, yep. I, and I'm just thinking of your time and our time. Yep. Because I, I think all of these concerns are applicable across all of the issue related metrics. So, okay. I think we got somewhere there with that yep. discussion. Yep. Um, Bernard, I will. Um, I'll just leave. Uh, so I'll just say. I just said, um, yep. you can see what I'm typing there. Yep. I tried to represent what I think we just said. Was, I guess tagging you isn't working. I don't know, it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Um, the other agenda item that we had is to just revisit our discussion about focus areas, metrics, and metrics, oops, models. And I recognize that we didn't really, I think that it effect, effectively got thrown back to us <laughs> in the community yeah. meeting. Is that sort of your recollection, Elizabeth? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Was, was it thrown back to evolution or was it thrown to the common? I don't remember, it, but it was it's thrown been, back. It's been thrown back and forth multiple times, and it, the in the last uh, the last discussion, it landed on me. Congratulations, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm the you I'm win? the squeak I'm the I'm the squeaky wheel on this one. So I think the I think the it was basically a, a put up or shut up uh, comment. Yeah, that's helpful. So really. Uh, I can share the document I'm working on if you'd like. Yeah, I think that yeah. would be awesome. Thank you. Uh, and find my chitty chat. Oh, okay. So to start, I'll just share my screen, and then if you want access oh. to the document, I'll give it to you. Well, give me access because I want to. I, mean, I guess yeah. I guess yeah. Just share. Okay, your I'm sharing. Now. I'm giving you access right now. Then. All right, then I can. Um, oh, have I already? No, I haven't. Okay. You haven't shared the link to the doc. But... Okay. Yeah, since you're already sharing your screen, how about you just share your screen then, and I won't worry about it. All right. If you paste the link, I can do that. Okay. And it should be shared with you now. All right. Well, this is so, let me see if I can make this more readable. How do I, is there a way to turn off? I'm just going to turn off comments so that this yep, that's is a fine. little bit more readable. So this is still, this is still kind of a, uh, 
a rough draft. Matt and I are, Matt and I have been talking about it. Uh, some of these things are just kind of the way that I view them, and uh, maybe we need a bit of discussion to uh, to land on what the what the definition actually is. Like the composite metric, I think is one that could use a little bit of discussion. So. Um, I think composite metric is a synonym for metric model. I think they're the same thing. Yep. So I think there, I think there is a case where a composite metric can be a proxy for a single, uh, for a single point of measurement where it's not necessarily a model, right? And, and I kind of give the example of if we're measuring, if we're measuring we're asynchronous hairs. communication, uh, I think we're okay. splitting hair. I think we're splitting hairs, distinguishing between a composite metric and a metric model in a way that's not helpful. Okay, so, so I generally, I generally agree that the composite metrics that we've defined in the past are metrics models. Yeah. So I, I mean, the only I metrics, generally agree with the that. only composite metrics we've ever deployed are actually one hundred percent metrics models. Like it's never two to three metrics. It's like a dozen. <laughs> uh -huh. Like I'm thinking of the social. Currency metric. Currency, was, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That thing was a was certainly not two or three metrics. Sorry, I had to make that wider so that I could. Oh yeah, you're fine. Page. Well, so an interesting. So anyway, yeah, composite metric is something that I think we would need to discuss for well, actually everything on here I kind of think we need to discuss, but we needed kind of something to speak to. So either either agree or disagree with some of these definitions. Yeah, there's an indentation issue here that's bugging me, but I'm gonna let that go and not be a- Yeah, so how did that it. happen? Um, who the hell knows? <laughs> I tried to fix it with it. I tried to fix it, but it didn't work. And so now I'm just gonna let it go. And so under here, Kevin, you have Metrics and models. There we go. Models. So okay. that that would be the proposal for how we organize our work in chaos, with the uh, kind of a, a cross cutting cross cutting model, with the uh, the, the working groups as the verticals, uh, focusing on measurable phenomena, uh, and then across the working groups we can we can connect these metrics and models to one another. Uh, through uh, focus areas, which are not measurable phenomena, they would be a description of a context area. Uh, and then uh, I'm working on a, a grocery store metaphor on how we can uh, on how we would present the the metrics to users using uh, using using these verticals and horizontals and the addition of tagging. Yeah. So this is so this is to it is we are talking if you go to the slide one. We're talking about three things like how we define our key entities, how mm -hmm. we organize our work, and then how we dynamically present those metrics and models to users. Uh, and tagging is a big part of the dynamic presentation. Okay, because like, when I look at something like this, I don't think this is what's really happening. Like, I actually don't think the models are like just another peg on the level of a working group. Mm. I think there's a, and I don't, I don't know. So mod, model as a combination from the different uh, working groups from different context areas. Like, I see model, I don't know, maybe it's. So like, if I look at this graph, uh, there is an example of event badging. Is the event badging related to all other metrics like a value and a risk, a value and event badging or risk and event badging or evolution and event badging? So in that particular example, the focus area that I, I pulled a focus area from common called place. And I pulled a focus area from event called DEI. 
So okay. the common connection across those working groups is that context area okay. that we're looking at. It's the event okay. or the place. Okay. And then different mm -hmm. working groups uh, have actually, in the case, common has a metric that is event locations. DEI has multiple event, uh, so, multiple event uh, metrics. Uh, and then the, the models working group is, is working on an event badging model. And then we also have the event badging initiative. <clears throat> so all of those things across working groups are kind of focusing on a specific context area. And that's what ties, that's what ties it together. But uh, then how, then these evolution value and risk should be blank rather than, or NA not applicable in that case, or? Because I want to, okay, I, as per this graph, I see some connection between evolution value and risk with that model. Is there any uh, connection? If so, or can we say, no, we don't see any connection in these three groups, but there's a connection in other two working groups. Yeah, so to the, to the point, Sean, that you're, you're typing in, that's exactly, the, that's exactly the reason this matrix is set up the way it's set up. It's because metrics exist, metrics exist across working groups. So we, we need to metrics have some models. way, and, and metrics models, metrics and metrics models exist across working groups. So this is just a, a shared, a, a way of having a shared uh, language or, or well, way see, of organizing think, them across working groups. See, I think, I think that when you say it, and we're out of time, but I'm going to say that when you say that metrics exist across working groups, I think that you're confusing definitions with how we organize our work. I think that's muddled in there. So what you're, what you're looking at here is actually, this is how we organize our work. This is not, this is not how we present our metrics to users. Okay. So, but I don't think a metric is owned by more than one working group. It's just relevant for more than one purpose. So right. Working, so, the working if group, you look at the, the working group classification the, is a, is a way of working. It's not, we're, we've often and continue to treat it as fundamentally definitional to the metric itself, part of its context, but it's really not. It's just where we decided to build the metric. So that's the, so that's the point. That's the point of this metric. And that's the, the point of, uh, that's the, that's exactly the point of this work. Okay. Right? So All the, right. the way that we present it is, is outside of this. And what, what you're saying yeah. is exactly true. Okay. Uh, this is purely a way of organizing the work within chaos so that we have a, a shared understanding of what these things are, shared definitions and ability to organize the work across the platforms. Okay, the, when, we, when we talk about presenting the metrics, we're really talking about uh, tagging and dynamically presenting them to the users in a, in a way that, uh, uh, so I, I don't believe that we have the ability to organize or categorize these metrics in a way, or metrics or models, in a way that's going to uh, uh, be, be static, right? It's, it's, it's always going to fall yeah. apart. I agree. So, the tagging approach is really smart. And uh, my only, I guess my only, um, my only net with it is that metric models don't, they're not, I, mean, I just don't see the way that we're working on them as being long-term sustainable if it's just isolated as a working group. Like I, I think the way of working has to become more fluid, but that's a discussion for another day because we are out of time and we have the community meeting coming up in seven minutes. <laughs> okay. And I need a you break. Are, okay. Um, so Elizabeth, you can stop. I'm sorry, Kevin, to cut you off, but it has to